Air pollution is the biggest environmental risk to health. The air is so polluted that it's darkened the sky, leaving homes and their occupants cloaked in smoke, leading to heart, brain and lung disease, including cancer. Of the 7 million deaths due to air pollution each year, one third, or 2.2 million, occur in the WHO Western Pacific region. Women, children and older people are particularly vulnerable. When polluted air is inhaled, microscopic particles penetrate deep into the lungs, heart and blood vessels and increase the risk of death from heart disease, stroke, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and lung cancer. Air pollution comes from homes, transportation, industry, coal power plants, solid waste burning and the use of fire to clear land for agriculture. Burning of solid fuels like wood, coal or dung at home for cooking, heating and light causes indoor air pollution. Vehicles emit harmful exhaust, particularly in large cities. Factories, oil refineries and coal power plants release a lot of dangerous dust and gas into the air. Solid waste burning and agricultural burning emit health-damaging smoke that can spread between communities and across borders. Air pollution is an emerging public health crisis in our region. The World Health Organization supports governments in tackling the root causes of air pollution. Winning actions to reduce air pollution include more investment in renewable energy, and low emission power generation, clean waste and agricultural management, green, safe and healthy cities with energy efficient buildings, safe and affordable public transport systems using clean fuel or electric power, and pedestrian and cycle friendly roads, urban planning for more green space, clean fuels for cooking, heating and lighting at home. Air pollution threatens our health, our climate and our very existence. But this is the issue. Without involving other sectors, we can't really, really effectively address. We have to come together and to think how we can influence other sectors who have solutions on this issue. We call it change agent. Stronger leadership and bold directions by governments are crucial in tackling this public health emergency. It's time to accelerate action to combat air pollution.